what's the next big battle that women have to face? I mean, ever since we got the vote, we've made great leaps forward. Women's participation in the workforce is now at 65%, the highest that it's ever been, which is tremendous. And I believe that women out earning their partners, the number of them has tripled in the last five years. But there's still a blockage when it comes to preparing for our retirement. It's interesting, women make the purchasing decisions for 90% of household purchases, yet men are still generally in control of the finances, especially long term. All the research that I've seen, especially research done by MLC, has shown that about 50% of women feel stressed out or out of control when they're looking at things to do with finance, especially when it comes to superannuation. I also think women are busy. We're either working or caring for children or caring for ageing parents. A lot of us don't have the time, especially when we also do the vast bulk of the housework, to look through all those documents and feel confident enough to make those solid, strong decisions for our futures. My sister and I were told a man is not a financial plan. We've always managed our own money reasonably well. I have an entirely separate bank account and superannuation set up and insurances to my husband. But still, I looked at my super balance a couple of years ago, I'm 46, and I thought there's nowhere near enough in there for a comfortable retirement. So I think even if you are reasonably financially literate, for women, we're so far behind, we are, we're on the back foot anyway because of the gender pay gap, breaks in our work and employment history because of childbearing and so forth, that we really need to play a game of catch up. We think there are three main reasons. The first is awareness and knowledge about what happens to superannuation when you're out of the workforce or only working part time. The second is a sense of empowerment. We know that 40% of women don't feel comfortable when they're thinking about their superannuation, don't have that sense of empowerment. And finally, it's a lack of a formal financial plan, with only 35% of women having such a plan. For this International Women's Day, I'd really like women to take charge of their financial futures, to look at their super balance if they have one, to get a super account if they don't have one. Now is the time to be empowered to take charge of your future because if you don't, no one's going to do it for you. We have to look after ourselves. The first thing to consider is consolidating your superannuation or salary sacrificing. Whether it's finding lost super, merging multiple accounts into one, or just salary sacrificing a few extra dollars a week. It'll really make a difference in your retirement. The second thing that you can do is seek advice. A financial advisor can help you understand how to grow, maximise and protect your superannuation to help you deliver your retirement goals. And the third and most important thing is to take action today. Every day makes a difference. 